Hello everyone. Welcome to 5G Gaming Guru Guide. I'm Daniel and I'm going to in this video continue the RuneScape 3 video series. Uh, I'm going to be working on the Lumbridge achievements uh, in the area tasks. Uh, I, these next uh, several videos on the series I'm going to try to work through the achievements because uh, not having them is um, holding me back from doing some other things like uh, example the um, blood runs deep actually requires uh, the achievements for from the carbons be done and um, not having the uh, lumbridge achievements is preventing me from uh, using the explorer ring to teleport to the cabbage patch uh, that I need uh, to show you a proper farming round, for example, or uh, some other uh, the teleport, there's the way many, uh, many people do the, the farming rounds and some other activities. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you the uh, achievements. Uh, the next few videos, I'll be doing Lumbridge uh, and I'll be working my way through the next, uh, so these different places. But I'll start with Lumbridge. Uh, for this section, uh, let's see. Uh, come on, I had it here. All right, uh, you'll need an empty bucket, an uh, empty pot. And I, I don't mean the drugs, I mean the container, the pot. A uh, bucket of water, clay, wheat. Uh, you'll need some coins. I've got plenty of those there. Uh, I needed some raw shrimps. Uh, and I'm going to try to show you where to uh, acquire most of these things uh, while we're on the quest. I'll try to make it as easy as possible. Uh, I know I'm pretty late in the series uh, to be backtracking. Uh, I meant to do this last year, but I got sidetracked by uh, an incident I had a year of medical treatment. So. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, before we do, though, please remember to drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, uh, please comment around if you have better ways of doing things. I, I know that I could uh, I could do all of the uh, achievements together in one go, but I'm going to try to separate these out uh, into uh, separate sections uh, you know, so that uh, we can uh, have more time to explain things. So. Uh, and of course, if you can show us certain things, uh, help me grow the site. Um, uh, that's not really bringing in any income from a other. So I don't have merch or memberships right now on the site. Uh, maybe later, but not right now. Uh, so uh, super things would be appreciated. And of course, our other uh, channels. So um, getting the supplies. Uh, well, you can see, uh, we also need to. up here. All right, so getting the supplies and starting the uh, and starting the achievements. So starting the achievements, you need to speak with Explorer Jack. Uh, and Explorer Jack is here. So talking to Explorer Jack. Uh, and you're going to ask him about achievements and task rewards. Uh, so you can talk about the achievement system and it'll go through the dialogue and such uh, and how you can claim rewards and then after you complete the beginner tasks you will uh, you'll go to him and then uh, pick up the explorer ring one and then when you're done and then uh, just leaving uh, and then if you go next door to the shop assistant uh, the shop assistant sells or out of the shop uh, We'll sell buckets. Uh, you can fill with water, uh, empty pots. Uh, and we'll also sell, uh, you'll need this for a future, uh, you'll need a cake tin. Uh, i just uh, take a look here really quick. Uh, there's uh, uh, there, there's um, uh, empty pots, jugs, shears, buckets, bowls, cake tins, tinder boxes, chisels, and hammers, and you can get also, a free bronze dagger, an offhand dagger, if you're just starting out. And, um, 
uh, tender backs and hammer. So uh, this is helpful to uh, be aware of. So, all right. So working our way through, I I should let you know. Uh, uh, I should let you know that in the process of fasting, uh, so here's the, uh, in the hero tab, this one here, uh, achievements, area tasks, I want to uh, I scroll down to beginner lumberage, uh, and I, I checked show completed and show locked, uh, and uh, see if I go to a different one, for example, here, uh, there's some red ones with a, a lock icon, so that's what locked is. But uh, so I don't have any locked here, but I have some completed that uh, uh, was these were achieved uh, while I was doing quests and, and skilling videos and such like that. So there's no, nothing really I can do with uh, about um, the trading and achievement uh, before I start this video. But I'm gonna try my best to show you where to do all of these things. So. Uh, all right, so if we, uh, we start out, um, I'm going to go through these one by one. Uh, some achievements will trigger if I need it, some won't. Um, so I'm going to start with looking at Father Eric's gravestone uh, selection. All right, so this is when you're, you run out of um, these uh, life points, LP, in the game. Uh, and then uh, your player will die, and then uh, will either respawn someplace or will respawn in this office, uh, whichever the case may be. And then there will be a grave marker where you died uh, or nearby, uh, various situations, it might be different places. Uh, so if you talk to Father Eric, uh, one of the options is grave markers. So. Uh, if I uh, select the, can I change my grave marker now? All right, so I'm not, here's the achievement grave consideration. Look at his gravestones. So that, that's, that's done. Uh, that, that was very easy uh, to pick. Um, and I, I can scroll down uh, and pick different ones. So um, this looks like a cat or a dog. Uh, or I can pick this one. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, pick the uh, this one. All right. So I just pick one that I want to appear. Uh, if my uh, character dies and responds, uh, that that one will appear where I uh, spawn, um, uh, where I died, or nearby. All right. There is a doomsayer. Let me just uh, show you the next one. Uh, so, come on, go to the right one. All right, so the next one is Doom. Speak with the Doomsayer about the warning system. So, Doomsayer should be here. So, talk with the Doomsayer. Doom, Doom, everywhere. So, if you just uh, hold on the space bar and go through the dialogue. Uh, and then speak with the Doomsayer, achievement complete. Uh, and then, yes, I do. You can look at the um, your settings. Uh, this used to open up a separate window, but uh, over time, Dragix integrated everything into one um, settings box. Uh, so uh, here, here's the warning screens. Uh, and then obviously, you can go to your other settings as well, and I'm, I'm not going to do that right now. All right, so uh, shrimping ain't easy. Uh, shrimping, I already. I wish I would go to the correct place all the time. Shrimping ain't easy, uh, which I already did before when I was doing the cooking video uh, for you last year. Uh, catching some shrimps in the fishing spot east of Lumber, Lumber Swamp. All right, so that is over here. All right, so there's there's some fishing spots on the map, uh, and if you net fishing spot, I'm I might not be able to catch from any uh, anymore because my levels are high. I might catch anchovies, so uh, it might be important for you. To, oh, there we go. I right, so, so they fixed that. I can still catch shrimps. 
Just because my fishing level is so high, so, so I, I'm going to put these aside because I don't need the extra. I'll deposit those later. Um, I search from shipping is a master of all I survey. Let's climb to the highest point in Lumbridge. All right, so master of all I survey. Here, I right, so the highest point in Lumbridge is the ladder on the northern side of the bank. Uh, all right, so let's see. So there's a, a bank on the roof, and there should be a ladder. So uh, right click on one of the corners, and uh, there. So there's no more. If you right click on this, there's no more up. So now we go to the the to where the bank is. So that that's the bank, and there's supposed to be a ladder. All right, here we go. There's a ladder. Here we are, climb to the highest point in Lumbridge. So I am standing on the highest roof. Uh, if you look, the that gate's down there. Uh, you know, uh, from this perspective, the church tower looks higher, but Jagex defines this as the highest point in Lumber, so there you go. Alright, uh raise the roof. Raise the flag on the roof on Lumber's brink. Alright, so here, raise flag. Alright, so raise the roof achievement complete. All right, so look, looking back here, achievements, status, uh, raising the roof. Uh, here, all right, and then, and another, then one, uh, next one is hail the Duke. Hail the Duke. Uh, all right, so the Duke, from this point, if we go down the one of the stairs, uh, and we go in his room, which um, I guess that would be, uh, uh, I don't want to go there in this conversation. Um, let me hold up my censored sign. Um, <laughs> you go, you visiting the Duke in his bedroom? That's not really um, funny, but okay. Uh, okay, so if you, you know, at this point, I already had that checked off, but uh, if you, uh, if you, went to him and uh, you might have to select some options, but you should just be able to talk to Duke. If I hadn't had that finished already, it would have, um, it would have uh, triggered that, uh, the, then the triggered that achievement. So the next uh, one is uh, to go down the stairs and then exit the building. And if I go back to the general store, uh, you should have had this when uh, you look for supplies. Uh, there's Explorer Jack. Uh, and then if you trade the shopkeeper, okay, you're, you're browsing the general store now. All right, this that is, uh, so now if we go back to our achievements. Uh, all right, um, so we did Hail the Duke. Uh, and then window shopping would be Browse Lumbridge's general store. So that's that's what we just did here. So all right, so grinding my gears. Grind some flour at the uh, Lumbridge Mill. Right, so the Lumbridge Mill, uh, there should be uh, a right, that's the all right, this is supposed to be the Lumbridge crater, but um, there's some kind of an event going on at the time that I'm recording this video. So uh, if there's no event going on, that will be a crater. Uh, so uh, if it looks, uh, prepare for it to look different when you're watching this video because um, 
because of that. So, so if we go here and we can uh, we can click on pick wheat. So that's where you get the wheat for free, uh, and uh, I already have one, so I'm not uh, I don't need that. Um, I'm just showing you where to get the wheat. Uh, and then here's the windmill. Um, you can see the um, you know if the sun was back here, and then the the window is here. You can see the um, the shadow. Uh, all right, so uh, let me see if I can get this right. Um, up the ladder. Uh, so sometimes I I mess with this thing to get it right. All right, so the the wheat goes into the hopper, and then uh, come on, operate controls. Actually, gotta pull the lever to operate controls, and then you go down one, and then you use the empty pot on the. Uh, no. Here. You use the empty pot on the flower bin. All right, there's the flower. So that um, had I not already done that as part of a quest, then uh. That would have triggered the uh, grinding right here is grind some flour and lumberage mill. So I, I just did that. All right, so uh, next one I'm going to do is sage advice. Uh, talk to the lumberage sage. So let, let's go over there and do that. The lumberage sage is back there near the lodestone. So optionally, you could uh, home teleport to the lodestone. Uh, however, uh, I originally intended uh, this video to be placed right shortly after the Lumbridge tour, uh, the world map tour rather. Uh, so I'm going to walk places to uh, help everybody acquaint. Here's the Lumbridge Sage. Uh, how may I help you? All right, there you go. You just need to talk to him, and you got the achievement complete sage advice. So that that, that was it. Um, all right, so tickle the ivories. Um, play the organ in Lumbridge Church. And that's the musical instrument organ. Um, I don't want to go to the other place. That's kind of morbid. All right. Uh, so all you have to do is click play the organ, and then there you go. So you're not actually playing the organ. The the ghost hands are. So, but I don't know. That's uh, I guess that's what uh, Jaggy's had. So, um. Uh, they actually let you play uh, if you have a, your player own house, and you make a uh, the instruments there. They'll actually have the instruments of you playing. Uh, that the player own houses were made after this one, so it was a, the one in the player own houses are newer than this. So uh, the one in there's an organ in the or some kind of musical piano or something or organ something in uh, Wizard's Tower, and I'm trying to re remember. There's there's an interaction that you have with that, so more interaction in the house. So I think it was a progression in programming. So uh, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, all right. So going to the uh, card gate. Uh, this one is uh, docking out. So docking out is answer out card via its west gate. So if I uh, so I believe this was supposed to be the west gate. Uh, way back in the day, there used to be an actual gate there. Uh, back when these achievements were made, there was an actual gate, and, I would, uh, and even further back, there was a, a, a toll booth. 
where they you have to pay a, a ten gold coins tax to to go through the gate. Uh, here's another one. Um, so, um, uh, uh, there's not really a gate there anymore. So I, uh, Jagus didn't really change the language on that. So I'm not really sure how to, um, how to, um, uh, uh, advise on that one, but, uh, I already, I already have that achievement there. So there you go. All right. So rules of conduct from the town crier and drainer village. All right. So I'm going to show you on the world map. So you get an idea. Um, so here's, yeah, there's Al Qaeda, there's Lumbridge, there's Lumbridge Swamp, there's Rainer. Uh, here's the event where we went through on our way to the windmill up here. Uh, and uh, here's the, uh, if you want to call them gates, I guess, um, arches. The, uh, that's really an arch. It could be a gate, I guess. Uh, there's not really a physical gate there, so I'm not really sure. Uh, all right, so I'm going to, uh, for faster access, you can unlock the lodestones that I showed you on an earlier video. But, um, uh, so running over. Uh, I'll show you in the achievements, um, rules of engagement. Uh, that's not one I finished yet. Rules of engagement, find out about the rules of conduct from the town crier and drainer. So, Check my. I don't want to check my keys in the middle of this video. That wasn't from anything I did just now. So uh, that's something from before. So all right. So town crier. All right. So the town crier is actually uh, in these in the square here. All right, so uh, rules of runescape. All right, so uh, he he shows you the book and it triggers the achievement, so you can you can flip through that if you want. And, uh, and then I got that achievement, so that that's done. All right, and then uh, next one, uh, take your pick. Uh, take your pick is mine some copper at the mining spot to the southeast of Lumber Swamp. I close this so you can see where I'm going. And you can look at the, the mini map. Uh, that's what I do. So I, I very uh, often use the mini map to click around that to, to go long distances. And you'll see here uh, on the mini map, uh, there is a uh, mining spot. So uh, there's copper. So take your pick, literally um, pickaxe, take your pick, uh, and there you go. So I, I just mined some copper. All right, so uh, that's done. All right, so I'm uh, almost done already. Uh, you, uh, there is a way to streamline the achievements, beginners in Beginner, easy, medium, and hard for Lumbridge. 
like half the rate, but I'm doing the these um, separate sets to, to make it easier for you. So, uh, all right, take your pay. Uh, uh, ring the bell in Lumbridge Church. Uh, so ring the bell on the top north floor in Lumbridge Church. All right, so here's the bell you ring that would, uh, all right, so that would be the one ring my bell. Um, ring my bell. All right, so the next one is in the courtyard. Uh, in the courtyard. If I can find it in the courtyard, end of the courtyard during our management. Okay. So I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to port over. Drainer. There's the courtyard. It's near Veronica. Right, so we're in the courtyard of Rainer Mansion. Uh, so that's Manor, Rainer Manor. All right. All right. So the next one. Uh, tower of power, climb on the top of the wizard's tower. Uh, tower of power. Uh, climb on the top of the wizard's tower. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to pick up the wicked hood from uh, dirts in Taverly uh, or Barthope. Uh, there's a guy that gives you the wicked hood, and uh, you can teleport there. Uh, use it to the real crafting guild. Uh, if you don't have the um, wicked hood yet, and then uh, yeah, a little bit of a run to get there. And then uh, you right click on the beam on the top floor. And now we're at the top of the wizard's tower. Right. Uh, Drainer Village Market, uh, bottom floor. Uh, Drainer Village Market is where the uh, Is where the um, rules of engagement are uh, where the town crier was. So um, you should have automatically got uh, when you got rules of engagement, you should have automatically got uh, in the Picazella that's here. Um, We were a pigzilla. So, and that's right near the. There's. 
Where is the fire? Here. So when you visit the town car before, you should automatically get the pink zone. Right. Uh, all right. And then I'll <clears throat> so Fred the um, Fred the uh, chick, uh, chicken Fred the farmer's chicken and sheep farm located west of the uh, West of the uh, the river, all right. So here's Fred the farmer. So if he was at his farm, and then that is um, wait, that's not chicken. Wait, that's not sheep. Here, wait, that's not sheep. Right now, the rest of these uh, are my not yet complete. So, uh, yeah, I should be able to get the rest of these. Um, all right, the next is how you visit. Uh, you sign of the Nexus. So, you sign of the Nexus is south of one. I'm going to start teleporting around places because. Uh, you should have already, uh, by this point in the video, you should already uh, be familiar with the surroundings. So, <sighs> all right, so talk to your son, okay, and uh, you don't have to dialogue, it's, it's just you just have to talk with her. Uh, so that's it. Then, for the sea, saw rashrams to the fishing shop in Longbridge. All right, so uh, fishing shop should be indicated by a hook uh, back in the courtyard. I can save a little time by boarding up. Go. Uh, fishing shop is near uh, the north bank there's actually three banks in uh, Lumbridge now one near where we raised the flag on the way and then one here and then one in the basement after you start recipe for disaster so if i trade and sell uh and sell one shrimp and then i just got the achievement salt the shrimp all right, so clay or mine some clay, uh, mine some clay, uh, drainer mine is uh, obviously near drainer. So north of the wheat, should I say north and slightly west of the wheat. Here's some clay, so mine some clay. Let's see if we can put clay more. Uh, just add water, make some soft clay. So I'm gonna use a bucket of water on the clay. I just wanna make one. So make some soft clay. Um, make a pot on the potter's wheel. All right, so. Uh, Uh, they said there's a potter's wheel and drainer, so I want to. Uh, I wanted to hear to hear to that. So uh, I'll have to go looking here because I always use the one in Barbarian Village. So uh, and I found it easily. Here's the potter's wheel. I'm gonna make a clay pot. Uh, make sure it's hot 
Alright, uh, I don't want to make one. Alright, so I, there we go. That's, that's an unfired pot. And by the way, pottery oven. I can fire the pot. So it's no longer employed by me. I fired it. That's not what that means. Okay, I fired a pot that was um that was the last one. So the achievements are uh, the beginner's achievements are complete. So I'm going to go back now to Lumbridge uh, to explore Jack and I will claim my ring. I need to see, uh, I need to see if that uh, green asterisk disappears because I, com I completed the beginner's task. So claim rewards. So I got a, a bunch of things and I got the, uh, uh, talk to, I don't see the explorer in there. I like the uh, task rewards. Where is... Uh, you know, magic staff, air talisman, um, sapphire amulet. Uh, but I don't see my explorer in here. Right, let me let me check this again because beginner language. Yeah, I have everything completed. So if I uncheck show completed, uh, beginner's language is done. So uh, I'm supposed to get an explorer ring from him. Uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to get the explorer in from him, so I don't, I'm not sure where. I think I finished the beginner's ta task set. You have, oh, well done. Let me make a clearing for you. Thank you, sir, Ward. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, dear, you don't appear to have enough space for an inventory. Okay, whatever. Uh, there's a bank right here. So I'm going to put all of these into the bank. Uh, and I don't need these. All right. I claim my words. Claim my words. I right, uh, talk about achievements. Okay, there we go. So there's the explorer ring one, and there's a, uh, an antique lamp you can. Uh, you can get 500 XP and a skill of your choice. I don't know how long that explorer in one and then um, deposit the rest of the stuff that I don't need. Um, all right, and then uh, if you will, uh, of course, follow me, follow me over to the uh, uh, next one. I just completed the beginners. I'm going to be doing the, um, then the next one's easy leverage, medium leverage, and hard leverage. Uh, I'm going to complete the entire set now um, in three more videos. So.
uh, you can go ahead and advance to the next uh, video if you want to finish your set and then I'll follow along. It'll be great. Remember, um, like, comment, share, subscribe, um, visit our other channels and all that. Uh, I'll see you soon in the next video. Take care. Have a nice day.